this fin I made out of plywood, black and white paper, glass fiber and carbon. Instead of giving the fin a canting, I decided to bend the fin. Here, looking from the front, you can see the bend in one of the fins I made like this. First I draw the fin in original size and I draw the bending that I want to give the fin. The mold for the fin core I make out of middle dense fiber board. I give it a formica covering. Like this the surface is smoother. As shown in my previous videos I calculate the thickness of the layers of the fin. Then I prepare all the layers for the fin core. I drill some positioning holes through the layers and into the mold and I glue it all together. After that I draw the outline of the fin core onto the blank. On the base of the fin I give it an extra 30 millimeters so I can keep the fin in position while I'm laminating inside the mold. After that it's the same process as I showed in my previous videos. If you want to put color onto your fin core, do it now. I stack all the laminations in the right order on one stack so if I start to laminate I don't have to think about uh, anything anymore. They will come in the right order. One thing I didn't do this time, but I want to show you now, is I perforated the foil, the separation foil, with a needle. Every about 10 millimeters I poked a hole into the separation fo foil, so the air can pass out. On the outside of the perforation foil I put a cloth of cotton, of an old t-shirt, and after that another separation foil with no holes poked into it. Like this the air can pass out and also the resin that is too much can pass out. It will go into the cotton cloth and uh, you will have a really nice lamination without any air bubbles inside. This time I use two cotton layers but one is enough. Just make sure you don't have wrinkles in it. When you poke the hole into the separation foil, you will get a crater on one side and on the other side like a little peak. Make sure you have the crater towards the lamination side and the peak towards the um, cotton cloth. Like this you will get a better surface. Since the mold is bent, your fin core tends to slide away. That's why you have to use two nails to protect the fin in the exact place where you want to have it in, inside the mold. These two holes are in the overlap on the base of the fin that you will cut away later on. The rest of the process is pretty much the same as I explained in the previous videos before. That's why I don't go through it all over again. This fin weighs about 84 grams, that's about 3 ounces. You can easily bring down the weight of this fin to about 2.5 ounces if you don't use paper layers and if you use less fibers. I think it's still a pretty lightweight fin for its size and I like the look with the stripes of the paper layers.